If you're following Depp and Heard, you probably know the last big thing, most likely Amber will be in is Aquaman 2 and the Lost Kingdom. It's coming up pretty soon. It's September now. Allegedly, it's coming out in December. I say that because so many things are getting pushed back these days. You never know. This here's from CBR. It's called Aquaman 2 sets unexpected record with its first trailer. Now, when you read this, you would think the trailer was out. It got a lot of views, a lot of attention, things like that. But not really. Honestly, I read this once and I'm still not exactly sure what the record was. So I guess I'll read it again and think a little harder here. But basically, it's not what you'd be thinking of a normal record. Like, you know, breaking some money record, some view record on YouTube. All right. A new record for the DC Extended Universe has been set with the long-awaited trailer for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And I don't know exactly who's been waiting for the trailer. I'm curious to see what the box office does, but I don't have to actually see it at all as far as the actual movie footage. A new record for the DC Extended Universe has been set with a long-awaited trailer for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. According to the Direct, the King of the Seven Seas returned to the silver screen now has the shortest window in the DCEU between the release of the first trailer for a movie in the franchise and said movie's theatrical release date with the former still not having been released for The Lost Kingdom. Okay, so wait. It's got the shortest window between the trailer and the movie release date. Is that a thing to be bragging about or a thing at all? What does that mean? It's their choice totally. They can release it when they want and release the movie when they want. So, an earlier record was set by fellow 2023 DC film The Flash, which had 124 days between its first trailer being released on February 12th and the movie itself hitting theaters on June 16th. So if I'm reading this correctly, and it seems pretty meaningless, but I think I'm reading it correctly, the record is the trailer debut and the release date, but where's the trailer? The video doesn't play. Obviously, there's no trailer. This article's two days old or something. If the official Aquaman trailer hit, you'd see reaction videos everywhere. DC channels, Amber and Johnny channels who covered that, like mine, like Tug, like Come Geek Some, like whatever, whoever, we'd all cover it. So is this trailer out? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I'm wrong. First trailer one month ago? How did I miss that? I do this every day. Someone says, looks like clips from the first movie. I can't say if this is real or not. I can't tell if the clips are from the new movie or the old movie. Okay, so uh, like I was thinking, no trailer yet. So how exactly did it break a record if it's not even out? Sorry, I don't get it. Maybe this is going all over my head and I'll look silly after this is done. Maybe I missed the trailer, but I don't think so. Regarding the actual project itself, not so many people really care. Wait, they don't say that. They say James Wan said he's taking it to the next level. And I gotta admit, I'm not so interested in that. Maybe admit for everybody watching, we're not really interested so much in the plot and the characters and all that stuff. What else they got? They talk more about how The Lost Kingdom's gonna be more of a standalone movie. One had to change it to fit into the new universe. Great. Good luck with that, James. He said there's things in it not necessarily related to the first movie. Well, there's one thing in it that is related that we don't want to see in it and that we won't be seeing because that one related thing is in it, even for one second, it doesn't matter. But we all know that. And they go on to this one last piece. What will happen in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom? Well, spoiler alert. Some things underwater, Aquaman will be in it. There'll be some fish and some sea life, some dialogue, some things that are supposed to be funny that aren't, maybe one or two things that actually are funny out of the whole time, then the movie will end. And maybe Momo will include some political stuff we don't quite want to hear. Sorry to spoil it for anyone. 
Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this important? Is this a broken record now? Or is this, you know, kind of non-news? Yeah, maybe. But, like I said, the movie's coming up. I'm ready for some news, so I'll be covering anything on it that's not really old. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad about it. But I'll get over it. See you next time.